Texas Longhorns taking on the Oregon Ducks in Eugene. We're back as the Longhorns, and I have a little mini scheme that I'm actually cooking up here out of the Texas offensive playbook. I feel like uh, Texas is by far the funnest, uh, most, I, I think they're the best team. I think they're the funnest team to use. They're my personal favorite team in real life. So I'm super excited to use uh, what we're going to show you in this video, uh, this little mini scheme. A couple different ways that you can kind of run the defensive side of this. If you want to run more double mug, you can run double mug. If you want to run more mint, you can run more mint, right? Kind of do uh, whatever. I'm going to run some double mug, just kind of see how this goes. I really am not very good with double mug. I'm going to be honest with you. Let me see if I can get that match. Let's see Barron's going to get burned first play. I thought I could get back there, boy. Ah, okay, we might be out of a double mug early. Uh, I do got to get my depth chart set up. The one thing I don't like about the college football um, the college football playoff deal or road to college football playoff deal is I don't like how this – I don't like a lot of stuff about it, but I wanted to give you guys something that you could use in this mode, if you want to play the mode with the best teams, right? Uh, the best teams in this game are Alabama and Texas, and then everybody else is behind them. I actually think Oregon is one of the better teams in the game. Their defense is terrible. Um, their defense is not good, but they do have the best offensive playbook in the road to college football playoff, in my opinion. So if you want to use them, you can certainly use them. I got a couple of videos on the channel. I'll probably do some more. But I'm rocking this Y off trio week out of Texas's playbook. And uh, I like this a lot. It has a middle third glitch uh, within it. Let's see if we can get this route combo. This is one of my favorite route combos right now. Just a simple play right here. Um, and essentially, if they run uh, this post, this post just nukes everything. This post just absolutely nukes everything, especially with Isaiah Bond. We're going up top first play. If you want to get this entire mini scheme broken down and explained, it is in my school community, school.com slash Cody Ballard. All of my schemes and uh, basically pro tips are in there. So if you guys want to stay on top of the game and uh, just get better, that's one of the best places to do that. I think I've finally figured out how to do this kick. And, of course, I say that I, I don't do the kick. So I guess we still haven't figured that out. I've been trying, man. I, I have not been able to figure that out for the life of me. Okay, so one little cool tip with Texas is Isaiah Bond. He's the best player in the, on this team. You can put him at, at a corner, and they also have this dude, Fusame. You could put him at corner, too. There's, that's going to give you the speed that you need uh, for your defense. And let's see if I can see if I can set this up. And Gillette totally did not. It's not where he's supposed to be, so I'm going to have to change – Oh, I'm going to have to change my shell. I don't like – dude, I can't stand this uh, shell stuff. I don't like this at all. I, it, it's probably one of my least favorite uh, features in the game. I just want to click on the slot corner. I just want to click on the slot corner. I just want to use the slot corner. It won't let me put him in his own. But we're screaming, double mug. This is why you run the double mug right there. So double mug, I'm actually going to be dropping a 6-1 ebook as well on the school site. Double mug and 6-1 are very, very, very similar. It's just double mug is in more uh, playbooks, which is why I've already dro I dropped a, a full double mug ebook, kind of breaking it down. Hopefully, we'll get things cooking here. I'm trying, I'm trying this new play out, this uh, nickel three dog uh, defense. It's all right. It's all right. I don't, I don't know if it's great yet or not. But, oh, yeah, there you see we scream. So the, the best part about the defense is what you just saw. So you're going to send four probably 80 to 90% of the game. The send four out of this is the best send four in the game. I think it's actually a better send four than the 6-1 defense. The reason the 6-1 defense is really good is the 6-1 defense has let – me, let me see if I can find this play. Where's it at? Nickel, strong safety blitz three. Let's try this. Let's try this, this strong safety blitz uh, defense and just see. All right, I'm all I'm all jacked up. I need to use a disc, dude. Oh yeah, that's mine. That's me. That's me. There's a lot of ways to run double mug. There's a lot of ways. So there you see. I mean, we had we didn't have our depth chart set up, and we get the depth chart set up, and all of a sudden we're just back. Okay, so wild trail week. I'm running this kind of similar to the way that I'm running trips. The major difference is this is like a combination of trips and bunch. Actually, the more I run this formation the more I actually enjoy it. The only problem is they're just not good stock routes. Like, you're basically creating the routes 
which I don't love that. Um, that's probably the thing I don't like about this scheme. This little running back in route, though, uh, the play. So basically, the play that you like is a very simple scheme. You're coming out in all go, and you're basically creating the routes. Although you do have some kind of unique stuff out of these goal line plays, like you have a tight end slant out, you have a short post, you have um, you have kind of some cool stuff. But the best play in the game, I don't know if it's the best play in the game. It might be the best play in the formation is this PA post shot. Uh, this play is unreal. Of course, I say that I get bagged. Let me just throw it away, please. Let me throw it away. I think you can also set your audibles now. So I would prefer to, to actually come out in this PA play. So let's see if I can put these audibles in here. Geo. I'm going to put Flood in here. I never really call Flood, but I'm going to put it in there anyway. This GL, uh, all, all these GL plays are pretty cool. I might not use much of them this game, but they are kind of neat. If you're running play action in this game, also quick tip. If you're running play action this game, you want to make sure that you're blocking the running back. You don't want the play action animation. It's really bad. Like, it's really, really, really bad. New passing setting. We don't have overthrows anymore, boys. Passing settings have been updated in the school community. Cool part about school, you literally get everything for $10. So you get unlimited access to all of the eBooks, all of the updates. We drop updates in the school community right now pretty much every day. Um, if not every day, at least every other day. And as the game kind of goes on and we start to kind of, I guess, settle into a little bit more of like what's going on, you can pretty much expect we're going to be always updating the school community with new content for you guys every week at the bare minimum. Every week at the bare minimum, uh, but pretty much every single day right now, we're, uh, we're putting a lot of content in there trying to help with the knowledge gap because obviously the knowledge gap is the biggest thing um, in the game. I don't like that it literally... Okay, okay, okay. I think I just might have found something. I might have just found something, boys. Oh, we might have just found something. Can I swap that? Ah, okay. All right, I got a little tip. I got a little tip. Okay. So it drives me nuts because you get clicked off. The reason I don't like double mug is because there's not really a good candidate to user. You get clicked off your user so much. I actually think the best person to user in this defense is this linebacker. Uh, 100%. I really like using the linebacker. I also really like this cross field third against trips. You'll see it's kind of going to go crazy against crossers and stuff. And he's going to throw me another book, and we can't catch it, even though Isaiah Bond should have been able to catch that. But, yeah, I didn't know you could do this. You can go no huddle off incomplete passes. That might be glitchy. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's, let's, let's go with this defense. Let's go with this defense. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to switch stick. Oh, that flat. <laughs> I was hoping that flat would be able to kind of get out there a little bit more. But basically, Nickel Dog Buzz, the cool part about it as well, I'm going to try this. So we're going to put this guy in a seam flat, this guy in a vert hook, and we're going to try to get that seam flat to match. I got clicked off. You get clicked off so much in this game, it's insane. Like, seriously. Oh, that's so frustrating. All right, we're going to go hard flats to him. I got this dude here. We're going to man him up on our one. He's going to run the ball. Run the ball. Run the ball, Trey Way. Well, that didn't go well. Uh, bad drive for us defensively. We'll try to get it back on the offensive side of the ball. I feel like my offense literally, like, it, it gets stopped, but it doesn't get stopped that much uh, right now with this new trips. I did originally think this was going to be the move, but I didn't realize how good PA post shot was. PA post shot is probably one of the best one play nukes in the game it just it's super hard to guard it like it really is it's it's a really really difficult uh, play to be able to defend and the cool part about the play as i lose where my actual play is here th there's a lot of ways to run the play too so it, you don't just have to run it like this like i'll show you one of so so the the best thing about this formation is you can motion this guy in and it stacks him like right here i think that's the best feature because now I can throw corner routes on the right, and then he's also a pull route, as you see right there, so they can't play cover three or cover f cover two. Pretty much have to play cover four, and I don't think that cover four is really that good at guarding it. So to me, it's the best – like it's, it's probably one of the best one-play scores in the game, and it's, e it's made even better when Texas has Isaiah Bond, who's 98 speed, so he's literally – I think he might be the fastest regs receiver or at least one of the fastest regs receivers. So if you could choose your playbook, seriously, I would never play 
I would play road to college football playoff an absurd amount. Like, I already played a lot. I would play road to college football playoff so much. Like, so, so much. College ultimate team is just not a fun game mode right now, to be honest with you. Um, you basically have to run double mug. And the game just is so slow. It's, like, super chunky clock. Like, it's, it's just not a good mode. But if you want to, you can, uh, you can 100% run our double, double mug defense that's on the, on the site. You can run that in ultimate team. So here we're going to go set up again. But watch this corner route if he runs man. Corner route didn't do what I wanted it to do. Let's see if old Quinn boy. Can I outrun him? Can I outrun him? I cannot outrun him. Tough scene, tough scene. All right, let's get back out of here. You do have some other stuff you can do against man. This short post play, I wish this play was a little better than it is. I, you would think this play would be amazing. The problem with this play is the uh, – Basically, the problem is the post just stops. Let me see there, though. This is a great little – this is a fun little play, too. Yeah, this offense is kind of fun. I I mean, you know, I guess shout-out to the Road to College Football Playoff. It made me get in this, and it made me lab up some stuff, and now I feel like I actually, actually have something. So, let's see if we can – this is a little red zone combo. I don't know if I can do this or not. I think this will work. Oh, yeah, this will work. This will work. This will work. I need to wheel this guy on the left. All right, so we're looking. The post It's not open. Running back is. We could have probably had that crosser, too. But, yeah, this play goal line short post is really good. This play goal line fork dig. This play is good. It's a tight end slant out. Texas has, out of all the teams, I think Texas has probably the best tight end. So it's a tight end slant out. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to motion. I think I'm going to motion this dude in. Let me see if I can just – I'm just going to leave him on that. We're going to use a short cross. We're just looking for the tight end right here. Oh, yeah, look at that little delay. Glitchy. Glitchy. Very good. Very, very good. I'll show you that again. So the cool part about this little, this little like, uh, whatever it's called, like, it's, it's a – I don't know what it's called. It's like a snag route almost. But basically what's going to happen is he is going to – can I short cross this dude? So he's going to, like, freeze, and then he's going to go. So freeze. So you see how he's going to kind of user him. Now your short cross route gets wide open because that running back route is a ghost route. You can't hot route that ghost route anymore. So you just, you just call that play, and uh, it's super, super good. I'm way better at the pooch kick here to the right. Of course it's not going to work. Why is it not work? Why is it not getting over him? Oh, no. Oh, no. Early. Get him. Wingo. Wingo is him. He's 97? No, 95. I think he's 96 or 95. 96 or 95 speed. Uh, with Texas, you could also run this 3-3 mint defense. 3-3 um, mint. We do have a breakdown of that in the school community as well. But I like this right now. Double mug just screams, bro. Double mug just it's such a good four-man rush. Like, it really is. Like, and you don't have to beat Texas to run the double mug. You can run it with any team, uh, which, which I think also is helpful. I'm going to seam flat this dude, and we're going to vert hook. Let's see how this works. I'm actually going to seam. Seam flats are super good, by the way. I really like seam flats right now. And then shade inside. Seam flats and vert hooks out of a cover three match right now is pretty glitchy against spread sets. See how he matched that? That's a seam flat. Very good. Muhammad. Muhammad, let's go, buddy. Get out of there. Go. Muhammad is kind of bad. Muhammad cannot move. He cannot move. All right, wild trio. This is where we just take the top off. This is where we just take the top off. PA post dig shot. We're just literally going to snap the ball. Put the running back on the out route. This out route, super good. Let's just go. Let's just go. Before he can adjust. Before he can adjust. Before he can adjust. Oh, no. Oh, no. That was a weird cover, too. I don't even know what that was. That's where you need to run some all-go, too. So the cool part about this all-go play is this tight end crosser super deep. So what you want to do here is you're going to go with a – kind of could do a lot of things, honestly. I like to wheel the slot. I really like wheel routes from the slot. And then I'm going to stem the in route up pretty significantly. But my main read here is this left side. And then I have this crosser. This crosser gets into a really cool position. And then we're just out of there. Very good. All right. Now we get down here. 
I don't have a ton of a ton of stuff for the red zone, but they do have this like kind of kind of cool little formation here. Stack Y off, and there's some cool plays. So what I like to do is I'm gonna come out in my play, and then when you audible over to this stack formation, it puts Isaiah Bond at that jet sweep player. So you have 98 speed jet sweep situation here. It's a pretty quick audible, all things considered. And we're just out of there. That should be seven. That's a pretty nice little red zone. Um, you know, the, the the actual scheme I would run with Texas, they have a little bit better of plays. But this is perfectly fine. The goal line corner play is super good. And then, you know, again, you could go to, go to something like this. Uh, this time we'll go with the, the quarterback power. It's actually showing me a look I would prefer to run jet sweep, but we'll try the power out. So the power, you just kind of let everything develop, and then you're just basically going to run straight. And Quinn Ewers is fine. He's not the – you know, in a perfect world, you would – you could, like, sub C.J. Baxter back there or something, but I think that's – you don't want to do too much. There we go. We got the pooch kick. Very good. Go get him. Go get him, Blue. Go get him, Blue. Yeah, Texas rolling, boys. We found offense. We had defense, but we needed some offense. And now I feel really good with Texas right now on road to college football playoff. Let's see, Eric. Double nickel dog three. We're going to seam flat here. I'm kind of all over the place. I don't like this. Go vert hook. There's that scream. Look at that thing scream. Very good. Dude, I love this defense. Nope. Double mug. The hardest thing is who do you use her? Because of, the, because of the stupid shells, you can't, like, it, it doesn't keep them in the same position. If it kept them in the same position, it would be so much easier to run this defense. All right, let's see if we can get a big play. Looks like he's out of here early. Boys, thanks for watching the video. To get the scheme, it's on the school site. Link is in the description below.